Hey everybody! So I haven't done a video in a long time, especially a, any kind of haul videos. So I was really excited to do this. I just came from the mall. So I just wanted to show you the things that I got. So, let's see. I should start off with my Sephora. I went to Sephora. Haven't gone in a long time. I you can tell, I only got a small amount of things. The small bag. Usually that's what it means. So I'm running out of my moisturizer for my from Shiseido. I usually use the Pureness moisturizing gel. My skin's been acting up really badly lately. Like um, I've been breaking out here, and I conceal it, and then it's dry. So I try to put moisturizer over it again. It just looks cakey. So oh, I'm just getting so frustrated. Um, I'm not saying that's a bad moisturizer, but my skin's just acting up. So I saw this one. From Shiseido, the white lucent brightening moisturizing moisturizing gel. So I was thinking I should try this since I haven't tried it yet. Um, I just saw the packaging; it's so beautiful. Because right now I'm, and this is actually recommended for normal oily skin, which is fine because I think that's what my skin is. I have extremely oily skin though, so I'm gonna see how that works for me. I'm just really oily. I have really oily skin. I also tried out this. Since I'm a freak about that kind of oily stuff, I have this from Philosophy, Never Let Them See You Shine. And I love this. Well, I would love it even more when I try it. It says here, reduce skin shine up to 55% and it decrease appearance of pores at 10% and reduce sebum up to 49%. So I'm guessing sebum should be like the oil that comes out from your pores. I'm not sure. I should know that, but I don't. So I'm gonna try this out. I've been trying out many things, kind of like anti shine. I've tried the Mac mattifying gel, which is really good actually, and it's like eighteen dollars. I think it's really good. I just wanted to see if there's anything even better. Um, I've tried Smashbox Water Finish Primer, which is just as good too. Um, it's like three times more expensive than the MAC Mattifying Gel. I made a video all about this already, so I'm not going to keep on going. And then this one was actually $26, I think. Yeah. So that's what it is. Can't wait to use that. And from MAC, I got two things. I got this MAC Moisture Lush Eye Cream. Really excited about this because I'm really dry. I, I noticed I'm really dry under my eyes here. And when I apply my concealer, it doesn't have that smooth finish. Sometimes it feels like it's going in my cracks of my of my skin, and it scares me. So I wanted to try this out. I've heard that fact that X3 was using this, so I said I should give it a try. So it looks like that. It's really cute. And I just lift it up just a little bit. And it's really pretty. I was like, it is like an iridescent glow. I tried it on at the store. So is the Shiseido, the whitening cream that actually has like a like a shiny, not shiny, like a sh nice sheen to it. So that looks really pretty. Just hopefully it doesn't make you look shiny though. Let's we'll see how that works. And then from the Warm and Cozy collection, nothing really really caught my eye from the collection. Like the shade sticks, maybe. It just seems kind of frosty to me, so I didn't grab it. But I did grab this one, Comfort, and I was really excited when I saw this because it actually has more of a matte texture finish, like this, and compared to the other MSFs I've had, they're more of like, like frosty, like a frosty finish, and it's more matte, so, and it has a nice kind of like bronzing color to it. So I'm really excited for that. It's a nice kind of like, I'm not wearing makeup kind of thing. Very natural. If you don't want to wear too much makeup, just maybe you could just use this and you're ready to go. Right now, I've been using my gold deposit. So I'm going to see how this works compared to that. So I'm really excited for comfort. I might get the other MSF there. I think it's called something Candlelight. By the Candlelight. It's kind of pinkish. Which I'm not a big fan of, but I'll see how that works. Um, last week I picked up a couple lipsticks since I'm a lipstick freak. I got, right now I'm wearing Baggity. 
I love this color. It looks really good with Moth to Flame. I really like how it looks like with Moth to Flame or with Girls Delight. Um, I guess I can show you guys. So just to give you an idea. In here, I would put on my... Oops, sorry. You don't want to see that. This You would put on your, like, lip balm first. And here is Moth to Flame. This looks really pretty with blankety. And then I also, I'll show you blankety. This is an amplified. It's a beautiful finish. It's very soft. It goes on smoothly. And then the other lip gloss I would like to use. I'm like losing everything. Going crazy. So anyways, the other one is the other one, Girls Delight, and that would go perfectly with Cherish. This is a little bit more darker than this one, more of like a um, deeper pink brownish color tan. So that's that one. It's really pretty. Okay, so that's what I got last week. What started my shopping. I should stop. And then I randomly found this at Walmart. Um, Bump It. Um, I accidentally got the blonde one, um, but when I showed it to my coworkers and they noticed that it was blonde, I was like, yeah, I know that. I can work with that. Just trying to make it look like I did that on purpose, and I'm too lazy to go and return it. So it comes with a teasing comb. So, you know, you tease your hair. Blah, blah, blah. And then, we have a big one. Oh, wait, medium one. A large one, and then an itty bitty one, and then I don't know. I've tried it. It's hard to work with. I'm still trying to figure out the best way to do it. But like you kind of like take the top part of your crown, and I don't want to demonstrate it now. But you know, I'm probably just gonna do it when I'm putting my hair up in a ponytail when I'm serving. So that's my bump it gonna try that out. It's pretty cheap. It's like ten dollars. So and they even give you like directions of what kind of styles to do and stuff. So I thought that was cute. And then I did my last Christmas present for my godson. I went to Zalu's. I think I don't know if Zalu's is a Canadian I know it's Canadian, I don't know. But it's like a Walmart. And I got this little tykes and it's for boy and I thought it's hard to tell to buy toys for kids especially if you don't have a kid yourself so I got this it's like a drum I thought it was cute it's a tap tune drum and the kids look so happy when they're playing it see I thought maybe I should get it so my god it can look like that so I got that and then a Christmas present to myself I got from work after work and at work, I got this plaid shirt, which I love. I love plaid shirts, so I would just wear this and then wear leggings. I know everyone has these, but I think they're cute. So I got one. It's kind of like a grayish black color. I love that color. And then I got this one. Don't mind my shirt, it's all messed up right now. And I got this one, kind of like a grayish brown earth tone color. And before I end this video, I wanted to show you guys a quick thing of what I did to my room yesterday. I decorated that. I made it look like Sakura Falling Blossoms. It's just stickers. So you just stick them on yourself and then do however you want to. I kind of extended it up to the wall there. So that's the new addition to my room. Okay, bye guys.